So what we were told is that these kids were taken on a field trip to learn about Annie, Annie Oakley. Give me a break, Annie. But I mean, what I love you Annie see Oakley, on those pictures were kids handling what appears to be handguns. handguns. That's Annie Oakley. not the gun that Annie Oakley had, which is what they're saying the reason they went here. And I have to ask as a parent, couldn't they go to a museum to find out, about, out about that? Annie Absolutely. Oakley. A gun range, a shooting range with first and second graders? I just think there's well, something so. I, I think we all agree that it's a bit young. What I worry about is when you're at a, a range using live am ammunition and there are a lot of kids there who are six years of age yes. with live rounds and a gun, I, I more so worry about the potential for something Huge. going wrong. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Because that's absolutely. A, yeah. I mean, but the, I think, you know, they're going to they're gonna put this under the guise that they're, they're teaching safe, you know, gun use. But at what age is it appropriate to well, convince this is way too kids young. to guns? I think that's the concern I have. Developmentally, first and second for graders. First and second that's, graders. That's, that's really young. And, I, and my concern is you teach them about gun safety, but then they're, what, six and seven years old, so they don't really know what they don't know. So then they have this false sense of security. So when they go home, they're like, oh, well, I know where my, my parents have their guns because approximately a third of guns are kept loaded and unlocked. So they find their parents' gun and they say, oh, it's fine, we can use it because I, I learned. But actually, I that's where I may disagree a little bit with you because we do hear stories quite often of kids accidentally shooting themselves or others. It happens. That's, it happens, happens that's far too Travis, often. Let's and I don't agree with that either. That's the side of that argument that you're making. Uh, remember, this was supposed to be a field trip talking about a historical I, yep. figure, mm -hmm. not about gun safety. So let's be clear what this was billed as. So this wasn't supposed to be, we're taking your kids to a shooting range to teach them gun With safety. handguns. With handguns. And that one field trip obviously is not going to teach kids nearly enough about how to be safe around guns. And I worry that it sends the opposite message that it's okay to handle guns. So if they see their parents' gun, they have the false sense Oh, I know how to do this and because I learned are, it in school. And, and that's okay so opposite not, of what they have learned. That's such a good point. I, I personally think gun education should be don't touch the gun. Like, I, I think yep. that should be the education. And I do understand that in different parts of the country, sometimes kids do use guns. So I think maybe we should kind of individualize it. And if you are in a situation where you know that kids do go hunting at seven years old or eight years old, then parents can do things to, you know, teach their kids. But I think uh, a basic kid in the inner city who's not going hunting, I don't think they should be taught, they, they shouldn't touch guns. Well, and You're I think, look, and I will actually story. agree. I think we have to stay focused on this. This story was not about yeah, I mean, gun safety. So let's not and, even and that's give them the benefit that's an important of the point. doubt. It's not gun safety. This is supposed to be a history lesson. Right. I couldn't agree more. This happened in museums, it, not was, a gun shooting range. There was nothing range. historical <laughs> so about it. nothing historical about <laughs> it.